Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are changing seasons. This is spring, but uh, we are well away on our way to uh, summer. Temperatures are high already and uh, perhaps there will be no rain, further rain. We were expecting some today, but uh, nothing has happened. We are also collecting some fruit, loquat, and then uh, we are having a lot of vegetables, especially the artichoke, and then uh, lots of strawberries. A lot of roses. We now have two rose gardens already, and each of them filled with beautiful roses. Lots of chamomile flowers. The manzanilla, we collect them, dry them, and have our infusiones, our teas. Some more beautiful flowers. They are not shy. Sky, sky. You are now acting here in the flowers, eh? Thank you, Max. I'm happy with my scythe work. About three hours experience. Two observations. Once you cut down this growth, there's not much left. So, uh, this is always my surprise. It looks like a lot of stuff. And then once it's cut down, it's actually nothing. The other one is that uh, it's very difficult to identify the saplings of the oak, even things I've planted with this high growth so it's better to go out I'll ask the farmer's wife to walk ahead of me and show me where they are or I will top all of them without knowing this was done by wheat eater brush cutter I don't know what is really the best way but I'm having fun with the scythe right now 
So let's carry on for some time. This is the northern border, the lowest border. And uh, here we started off with a um, leaky weir, stones, six metal posts. And then I placed this uh, sand here from that area just to get access for the wheelbarrow and for the excavator. And then I started moving some more sand that this was a high bank here and uh, because I saw it was quite wet in that area and uh, to my surprise a lot of round stones came from this area as if they were washed so maybe this was part of the river the creek sometime because it's a lot of stone sand ish now that's some very good light sand soil for me to use and then also the sticks that I've put in here are now taking cuttings we have placed all over the area so let's see if this will have water before the summer I hope so the expectation is that not much water will come down here and should it does come it can overflow that way and this way and that way let's hope we had 10 drops today but uh, we hope to have more irrigation that is the next hot topic and uh, I am toying with many ideas and uh, it will be quite a process to get this thing working with pumps water flow drip per uh, uh, gallons liters per hour many things anyway so far the idea is to bring the water from the canat over to the top and then bring uh, the same 40 millimeter pipe down here with drip lines left and right this area as well up to that and then depending on the flow to have valves installed let it come I so sowed a lot of bird seed and lots of other seeds I had left from last year in this area the rehabilitated erosion gully I was on my way to dismantle the pump and change the fittings from 32 millimeter currently to 40 millimeters but then I thought let me wait perhaps I will have to irrigate this again and this time I'll do it by pump not by gravity they will need some water There's not much topsoil I just dragged it down with the excavator very humid overcast cloudy at times 
sunshine. I hope something will come. But also, we are ready. We are thankful. We enjoy every moment. Till next time. Goodbye.